Hello everybody, welcome to Pop's Pick Eaters. I am the Pop, and today we are going to do, at least in my perspective, a, a different take on a beef and broccoli. In the past when making beef and broccoli, we probably would just sort of use ground beef. Today we're going to use steak, make it really, really tasty. Yum, yum, yum. This recipe looks to be super easy, um, aside from just marinating some steak for a little while. The rest of it only takes 10 minutes or so. So if you're looking for a really easy supper to throw together at the last minute, uh, you just have to have that time to marinate the steak and it's good to go. All right, so here we go. For this particular beef and broccoli recipe, we are going to need the following ingredients. Big old bag of flour. We don't need the whole bag, but we are going to need some flour. Sugar, both white sugar and brown sugar. We're going to need some oil, some cornstarch, baking soda, soy sauce, garlic, broccoli, and let's not forget the main ingredient, some beef. We're going to go with uh, some, some nice beef strips here. So we're going to start off making some beef and broccoli. All right, first thing we're gonna to mix together is a marinade for our steak. We're gonna marinate it, we're gonna set it in the fridge for a little while. So for this, we're gonna need half a teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon sugar. We're gonna need a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of water. I usually just dissolve them all together. We need a tablespoon of soy. And we're going to need two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to use canola oil because that's what I got, but vegetable oil is good as well. Olive oil, it's all good. I'll pour that out. Alrighty. Mix that up. Oh, there's dinosaurs in the house again. I'm going to toss our steak in the marinade here. Alright, and once you got her good and coated, cover her up, put her in the fridge for at least an hour. And then we'll come back to that when we're ready to fry her up. All right, so before we get cooking here, we're gonna throw together a little sauce for the uh, beef and broccoli. So very easy, all we need, two tablespoons of flour. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Some minced garlic, approximately four cloves worth. <laughs> and finally, half of a cup of soy sauce. We're using low salt just because that's what I had on hand. And I can control the salt level a little bit better. Mix that up. Alright, so once you got that sauce mixed up, I got some funny stuff happening in the other room there. Alright, so once you got that sauce mixed up, put it aside. And we're going to start doing some cooking. All right, get your pan nice and hot with some of your oil. Toss in your broccoli for crown.
Sizzle, sizzle, pop. So we'll keep an eye on those for about three minutes or so. All right, so after that's had a chance to cook for a few minutes, take the broccoli out of the pan. Put a little bit more oil in it. We're gonna add our steak. Mm-hmm. Marinating for a little while now. And about half of our sauce that we made. The temperature a little bit. Don't want it quite as hot anymore. Mm -hmm. Smells tasty. Yum, 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 yum. All right, so after about three or four minutes, get a nice sear on your beef. We're going to throw in our broccoli the rest of our sauce. Stir it up good. Drop your heat down. And simmer it for a couple minutes. Okay, once you've let it simmer for a minute or two, serve her up with some white rice or we're going to go with some noodles tonight. The, uh, just some instant noodles. Something simple. Easy to do. And let's see if the picky eaters approve of this meal. Okay, here we go. Picky Eater Desmond. What I have for you this evening is beef and broccoli with some instant noodles on the side. Try it and tell us. Is it good? Disgusting. Well, I hope it's not disgusting. I hope it's good. Let's try it out. Tell me what you think. Well, I don't know if this chicken is spicy. Oh, well, it's, I hope not, because it's not chicken. It's beef. Beef? Yeah, hence the name beef and broccoli. Well, that's good. I'm gonna wait until it's home. Okay, next we're going to try a broccoli with the, with the sauce. Hey, don't go with the whatever, it's called that again. Beef. Beef. <laughs> don't go with the beef. That is good. That's good. No. And you like the noodles, right? You've had the noodles before. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you what do you think? Beef and broccoli. Is it a good one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should have it again. Mm -hmm. What's your What's your favorite part of it? Um, for me, I love the taste of what's under the sauce. Okay. And the broccoli, I like the sauce on the broccoli. Okay. Well, that's good because it's the same sauce that's on both. So. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So there you have it, from the mouth of the picky eater himself. Beef and broccoli is good. Eat it. Do you have anything left to say there, Desmond? Put your thumbs up if you like this video.
go down in the comments if you want to see more picky eaters. See you next time. Bye. So Desmond, you've been at this table for a half an hour now. Your mama and your pop have finished their supper and you're just finishing your noodles now. But I notice that there's still beef and <laughs> broccoli on your plate. I thought you said you liked it. What's going on? That's just a joke. Wait, wait, so you don't like it? Yeah, I don't like it. It was so good though. <laughs> the sauce was so good and the broccoli was so good. <laughs> So you don't like it? I don't like it. You don't, so you can't recommend this meal? No. No? Thumbs down? Mm-hmm. Oh, you make Pop so sad. <laughs> All right. Well, from the mouth of the picky eater, it was a joke. He really didn't actually like it. Well, he liked the noodles, and he liked the sauce, because he put some sauce on the noodles, but... Oh... <laughs> Well, that definitely was tasty. At least I thought it was tasty. Um, obviously, Desmond didn't like it as much as he first led us to believe. He, he thought we were trying to make everything sound good. Uh, the last couple of reviews that we've done on the food, he's actually liked to clean his plate. But today, after a little while, and just, he just didn't want to eat anymore after the camera was off. So, but that's you know that's the whole point. We want to see what he likes, what he doesn't like. At least he's going to try it. You tried it, it's better than have him, you know, not even wanting to try it, just saying that, that that's disgusting. For me, on the other hand, um, I thought it was actually very similar to a different dish that I've made in the past, uh, Mongolian beef, which I found um, on Pinterest. And it, I, I always liked that. It's prepared slightly differently, but the ingredients are very similar, and it actually ended up being very, very similar in the end. So, very tasty. I recommend it. Desmond does not, so um, yeah, there's that. So thank you very much for watching today. If you have a suggestion for this recipe to make it better so that we might revisit it one day, or if you have a recipe that you yourself would like us to try out on Pops Pick Eaters, just throw it in the comments and we'll check it out at a later date. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.